Minute of Angle, MOA. It's a common tool experienced shooters use for precision. When Kentucky Windage can't get the job done right, it's a tool that you can turn to to get your optics on target. Whether you're new to shooting or tuning your rifle to ring steel, MOA is something you can use to get rounds on target fast. Maybe not as fast as MRAD, but that's a video for another day. In this video, we're digging into why MOA is handy for nailing accuracy and how it tracks from barrel to target. All right, so here's the rundown on minute of angle. MOA isn't just about yards or inches. It's an angle we can use to measure precision. I want you to imagine a full 360 degree circle around you. Take one of those degrees from the circle and split it into 60, 60 individual parts. One of those parts is what's called an MOA. Let's run the number. 360 times 60 comes out to 21,600 MOA across the full circle. We're talking about base 60 with this. It's a small slice, sure, but it carries weight for us because each angle is an adjustment to your point of impact. At 100 yards, one MOA works out to roughly an inch. 1.0472 if you're doing PRS or ELR and you need true MOA because Babylonian mathematics and base 60, but most shooters are just gonna round it to an inch and call it good. Why do we use it? It's a steady way to track how tight your shot groups are without jumping through a bunch of extra hoops. Whether your rifle's brand new or you've been dialing it in for ages, MOA hands you a clear number to adjust off of. That's your jumping off point. And it shows what your build's got when you're lining up that next shot. All right, here's how it look in action. Your bullet's carving a cone from the muzzle. It starts right at the barrel and widens as it flies. At 100 yards, one MOA gives you an inch. At 500 yards, it's five inches. A rifle that's one MOA is gonna hold that spread all the way through. Clean groups, no matter what the range. If you're at three MOA, you're looking at three inch shot groups at 100 yards or 15 at 500. It's your rifle scorecard. As long as you have the shooting fundamentals to back it up, your rifle's gonna hold that group all the way down range. So what this looks like is clearly illustrated on this whiteboard here. At 100 yards, you're gonna have a one inch shot group. At 200 yards, you're gonna have a two inch shot group, 300, three inch, so on and so forth. And that's with a one MOA rifle. Now say you're shooting a three MOA gun. Maybe it's a sub gun, something like that. At 100 yards, you're gonna see a three inch shot group. At 200 yards, you're gonna see a five inch shot group. At 300 yards, you're gonna see a nine inch shot group. <laughs> Math is not my strong suit, but Essentially, to get this number, you're gonna take the MOA and you're gonna multiply it by the range and that's gonna give you the size of your shot. All right, so some guys, they chase sub MOA. It's under an inch and 100 yards. It's always ideal in a perfect world. But when you throw in wind, bullets slowing down, or bad fundamental marksmanship abilities, and you don't have the skills to keep your group tight, you're wasting your time and money trying to build a sub MOA rifle. Think of MOA as the equipment's foundation. If you're not up to snuff as a shooter, your rifle is never gonna be sub MOA. That doesn't mean you shouldn't try to have a sub MOA rifle, it just means that when you're personally shooting, you're not gonna end up sub MOA, and that's not the rifle's fault, it's yours. So take the time, go to the range, practice, get better. All right, let's zero your rifle. Say your shot's at two inches low at 100 yards. Someone doing Kentucky windage might simply choose to hold high on the target and hope for the best. Your scope's turrets, however, can fix that with precision instead of using guesswork. This optic uses half MOA clicks. One click shifts your shot one half inch at 100 yards. So two inches low, that's four clicks up. Now at 300 yards, one MOA equals three inches. So a six inch miss left needs four clicks right. Check your scope, some use a quarter MOA, some use one MOA clicks. Just confirm your math by checking the dial at the top. Here's the raw math equation for you. Divide the miss distance in inches by the range in hundreds of yards to get your MOA. Then multiply by four for a quarter inch or two for a half inch MOA, or one for one MOA. It just depends on what your turret cap is telling you you need to do. Red dots bring MOA into play too. The adjustment works the exact same way. Clicks move the dot in MOA steps. A one MOA click shifts it an inch and 100 yards, a quarter MOA click moves it a quarter inch. But there's more. Dot size is measured in MOA as well. A three MOA dot covers three inches of your target at 100 yards. It's bright, it's bold, it's fast to pick up. A one MOA dot covers just one inch, crisp, clean, less cluttered. Is your pick on dot size based on what you're shooting? Big dots are gonna shine up close for speed. Small dots are gonna hold tight at a distance. Either way, MOA is what lets you tweak it until your shot lands exactly where you want it every single time. That's MOA. It's a unit of angular measurement that ties your aim to your impact. Why? So you can hit your targets. How? Do the math, dial your turrets, size your dots, 
shoot your groups, get out on the range and try it for yourself. It's going to work, I promise. If you got questions on how to put this into practice and zero your optic, check out this video from CJ. It's in one of these corners. And if you want another video explaining how MRAD works, let us know down in the comments and maybe we'll make that video next.